In this tutorial, we are going to create a machine learning model for heart disease prediction and we will create an app using Streamlit. The app will have a sidebar with the input features of the patient information. Here you will choose the value of each feature and the dashboard will show the input features of the user. For example, when I choose the age, this data frame will change automatically. And then we have the prediction. If the patient has a heart disease or not, zero is if the patient doesn't have the disease and one if they have the disease. Also, we will have the prediction probability of zero and one. First, let's create the machine learning model in Jupyter Notebook. First, we will import pandas and we will use read CSV to read the data set of patients with and without the heart disease. The data set is from this Kaggle page. You can find the URL in the description. The data set contains 14 columns and 1025 rows. We want to check the missing values by using isNull function. The dataset doesn't have any missing values. We can see that our dataset is equally balanced by, by counting the values of the patients with and without the heart disease. To properly represent the categorical data, we will use getDummies function that will return indicator variables. For example, the CA variable, after using get dummies, we will have four columns because the SCA column has four different values. We will test five different classification algorithms to classify if the patient has a heart disease or not. We will import those algorithms from scikit-learn. We will use train test split function to split randomly our dataset to train and test sets. We will calculate the accuracy of the training sets and the test sets of all our models that we created. We see that random forest model has the highest accuracy on both the training and the test sets. We will save our final model by using pickle to use it directly without training our model each time. Here is our model in a PKL format in the same folder as the Jupyter Notebook. Now we will create the Python script in the same folder. I named it app.py. I will open this file using VC code, but you can choose any other editor of your choice. In this Python script, we will import Streamlit to create the application. We will import pandas, numpy, and pickle. We will create a description of the app using sc.write. The header to the sidebar of the app. We will create a function that will take the input features and return a data frame of the input values. Each variable is a feature that exists in our dataset. If the variable is categorical, we will use select box to select a choice, like in this example. If the value is numerical, we can use number input to type the value like in this example. We will create a dictionary of those values and turn this dictionary to a data frame. And then the function will return the, the data frame. Then we will create dummies of the categorical values as we did to create our model. We will concatenate the input features 
with the data sets used to train the model to create the dummies and then we will select only the first row of the input features. We would use st.write to show the data frame of the input features in the dashboard. Then we will load the trained model to predict the heart disease by using pickle.load open then the name of the pickle file. We will use predicts and predict probabilities to give the prediction values. st.subheader is used to write this subheader and st.write to write the, this prediction and the same goes for prediction probabilities. st.subheader for this subheader and st.write to write the prediction probabilities values in our dashboard. Now we will run our app by going to terminal and type cd and the directory of the folder that contain the Python script. Now we will run this command streamlet run and the name of the Python script in our case is app.py and here we have our heart disease prediction app using streamlet. You will have the code source of this project in the description.